Motorola has done it. If you are sick of the same old smartphone, the Motorola Razr Plus 2024 is your cure. The Razr Plus is the flip phone that should be the envy of boring slap phone owners everywhere. It's bright and colorful in every way, inside and out, screens and shell. The Razr is completely different in the best ways. I didn't think last year's Motorola Razr Plus needed much improvement, but Motorola has improved it anyway. The best flip phone cover display, larger and more versatile than the file folder window on Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6, is even bigger and brighter this year than before. It fills the phone and gives you a miniature window into all of your apps. Apps become more useful than ever when you use them on this palm-sized marvel. The Razer Plus 2024 also gets a welcome durability upgrade and it's now water resistant enough to take a dunk. Motorola's vegan leather with a new sweet feel replaces the glass on the back of the Razer Plus. The result is a colorful finish that feels great to hold, giving the Razer a unique look all its own. It also won't slip off your disc. Has Motorola avoided the latest smartphone AI fads or has it Cramped AI onto the new Razer 2024 phones. Unfortunately, it's the latter. Motorola has run with the crowd and pushed half baked AI onto its new Razer Plus with predictably bad results that may only get worse. The Razer Plus 2024 has Moto AI tools that highlight the worst stereotyping tendencies of generative AI. The AI tools on the Razer Plus 2024 show how AI is not ready for retail. Tools like this should not be part of a consumer device, especially an expensive smartphone. It's embarrassing and the Moto AI image generator needs to go. Kind of a bummer, right? I was excited for the new Motorola Razer Plus 2024 with its new colors and bigger cover display, but the offensive AI quelled my excitement. Even Oats Motorola promises that even more intrusive AI features are coming. Right now the Vigo try is confined to the wallpapers, but soon Moto AI will be listening to all of your phone calls and conversations. Oh. Frankly, you can ignore these new AI features on the Razer Plus 2024. This phone is still very good without the AI gimmicks. The improved hinge on the Razer Plus 2024 snaps open and shut with more aplomb. You can take a group photo and watch people smile when they see themselves on the cover screen. Nasty AI can't make this phone less good, right? It makes in hot pink. Can AI ruin hot pink? No, nothing can ruin hot pink. For now, I take a wait and see approach to buying the Motorola Razr Plus 24 if the price drops or if Motorola cleans up its AI act a little bit, this will be an easier phone to recommend. However, if you'd rather not endorse Motorola's vision of a mobile AI future, I would avoid it and look for a future that's little less cool. The Motorola Razr Plus 2024 starts at around US dollar, which puts it in the same price range as the Google Pixel 8 Pro and Apple iPhone 15 Pro. To Motorola's benefit, Samsung raised the price of its flip phone by $100, making the Samsung Z Flip 6 more expensive than the Razr Plus 2024 in those regions. There's a lot of competition at this price, but Motorola loves to offer discounts, so I would wait for a good deal if you don't need to buy this phone right away. The Razer Plus 2023 saw fantastic deals throughout its first year on the market including a perpetual $300 discount in the US. Will the new Razer Plus 2024 get the same deals? Only time will tell, but the improvements here aren't so groundbreaking that a price cut is out of the question. The cover display is a bit larger and the phone is now officially water resistant instead of just unofficially slash proof. This phone would be an easier choice if it cost less, but at this price, I worry that it competes poorly on cameras, long-term software support, and overall durability specs that make a smartphone worth keeping for longer. If Moto dropped the price by 25% or more, I wouldn't care so much. 
Motorola only offers one configuration for the Motorola Razr Plus 2024 in the US and another in the UK and Australia. You get 12GB of RAM wherever you are with 256GB of storage in the US and 512GB in the UK and Australia. Don't worry US fans, that's enough space, especially if you use cloud storage for photos and videos. The Razr Plus 2024 doesn't skimp on specs when it comes to its two displays. Each screen refreshes at a blazing fast 165Hz and brightness levels are exceptionally high. The Motorola Razr Plus 2024 is the first phone with the new Qualcomm Snapdragon 8S Gen 3 chipset that was announced earlier this year. It's a step down from the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor found in phones like the OnePlus 12, but Qualcomm says it can still handle more AI tasks than older Snapdragon platforms. I found performance to be acceptable for non-AI tasks and battery life was excellent on this new platform. The Motorola Razr Plus 2024 is the coolest phone you can buy and Moto has clad it in some fabulous colors, including the spring green of my review sample and a hot pink that's throwback to 2005's pink Motorola Razr V3. Motorola has found its audience for this phone, people who hate boring slabs of glass and metal, even if the metal is titanium. Everything about the design is thoughtful and sleek, from the vegan leather back that shows off the peach fuzz paint job nicely to the humongous cover display that the twin camera lenses float in like lily pads in a pixel pond. The foldable inner screen lays so flat you have to concentrate to feel the crease. That folding mechanism is improved as well, it snaps open and shut in a much more satisfying way than on the Razr Plus 2023, and flicking the phone open and slammering it shut is a joy that becomes addictive. I may need to start making more phone calls so I can answer and hang up more often. The Razr Plus 2024 is also more durable with an IPX8 rating ensuring that it can take a dunk and underwater without issue. It's not all perfect. Sure, the cover display is amazing wrapping around the camera lenses like Pixel Magic, but some important buttons on my apps were obscured by those lenses and while you can resize apps to fit better. On Samsung's Galaxy Z Flip 6, the cover display is smaller but it isn't blocked by the lenses, Samsung may be onto something here. I also take issue with vegan leather but only because vegan gets confused with environmentally friendly. Vegan leather is a plastic, it is very nice plastic and Motorola says it won't fade or strain and it's still good for vegans because no animals were harmed on its production. Other benefits seem purely aesthetic not environmental, whatever aesthetic is in. If you want a phone that's cooler than what everybody else is carrying, get the Razr Plus 2024, watch eyes widen when you fold it in half and tuck it away, check the smiles on your cover display as you take a group photo. This is a phone for showing off and my biggest design complaint is that I can only choose one color. Check back around the new year as well because Motorola has partnered with Pantone for two years straight to launch Razer phones in Pantone's color of the year. The Motorola Razr Plus 2024 has a larger cover display than last year's Razr Plus and though it didn't need the upgrade, the bigger outer screen cements Motorola's dominance in flip phones. This is how a flip smartphone should look. Once you have used it with its dominating cover display, you will see that no other flip phone comes close. Both screens on the Razr Plus 2024 are incredibly bright, the big interior screen can hit 3008 peak brightness according to Moto and the cover display can go to 2400 nits. That's too bright for a phone I leave next to my bed. Checking messages late at night, I blasted myself in the face with bright light more than a few times. The cover screen wraps around the camera lenses for a signature Motorola look that Samsung hasn't apt for its Galaxy Z Flip series. Sometimes those lenses get in the way as my Roku TV remote app where some buttons are hidden I still think it's a better look than the cutout that Samsung uses. I just wish developers accounted for apps being shown on a smaller squarish screen. The foldable inner display is flatter than ever. I can't see the crease 
unless I hold the phone at an angle to the light, I can hardly feel the crease either, even if I flick my finger back and forth. I will get the basic Motorola Android software out of the way first so I can rant about my huge problems with Moto AI. I was hoping that Motorola would stay away from AI, OnePlus has mostly managed to avoid the topic but unfortunately Moto ventures into dangerous AI territory and the results are sadly predictable. Ignoring Moto AI, the Motorola Razr Plus 2024 is a solid Android phone. Motorola's version of Android looks a lot like Android on the Google Pixel 8. Moto doesn't brand its interface, it's just Android 14. It also doesn't promise 5 years of software updates, so don't expect to run Android 19 on this phone, like you will with the Samsung Galaxy S24 and Pixel 8 phones. Motorola has added useful shortcuts to its phones. I love the camera gesture, you twist your wrist a couple of times to launch it. I found this even more fun and reliable than double pressing the power button, which is the shortcut on most Android phones. You can also chop the phone twice to toggle the flashlight on and off. Both of these shortcuts also work when the phone is closed, which makes taking selfies on the cover display even easier with a quick double twist of my wrist. The Razer Plus is also the best flashlight phone I have ever used since it's so easy to hold when it's closed. Ok, enough compliments, let's talk about AI. Motorola has added some AI features with more on the way. I will start with AI wallpaper because it's emblematic of the larger problem. The Motorola Razr Plus 2024 has an AI wallpaper generator but it's nothing like the AI wallpaper you will find on the Google Pixel 8 and Samsung Galaxy S24 both of which use AI as a tool to produce stylish and unique wallpapers. The Motorola Razr Plus on the other hand produces images that often cling to stereotypes with repeated results that are racist, misogynistic, and bigoted. I wish I were joking. I asked Razr 2024 to make me a wallpaper image of a happy person and I asked 10 times. 8 of the images were young, white, blonde woman smiling. Another image was a young, a white man smiling and the last man was a dark haired, young, white woman. I tried the same test for a number of terms and the results were strikingly similar. If you ask the Moto AI wallpaper tool to create an image of a successful person, I'll bet you $100 that person will be young, male and white. It's a huge problem when your AI has been modeled to understand that only young white people can be happy or successful, but if you think that's bad, buckle up. Photographers say the best camera is the one you have with you. I carry two or three phones at a time so I would say that the best camera is the one I like using the most. Whether or not the Motorola Razr Plus 2024 takes the best photos, it is the most fun camera to use in almost every situation. Video shooting is especially clever with Motorola Razr Plus. The camera automatically recognizes camcorder mode when you bend the screen halfway and aim the camera at the action. The Razr Plus will start recording video automatically. You can stop with a tap anywhere on the bottom half of the screen. Shooting selfies is ridiculously fun. There is no need to open the phone, I just give my wrist a twist or tap the camera app and the cover display shows what the camera sees instead of using the selfie camera. The higher quality main cameras can take selfies and portraits. Holding the folded Razer Plus is easier than trying to hold a larger smartphone for selfie shots and people loved seeing themselves on the cover display as I lined up group photos. Here are some camera samples of Motorola Razr Plus 2024. Motorola ups the ante on the cool Razr Plus with a bigger cover display, a more durable build and AI. Ah, uh, who invited that guy to the Razr party?
Even some weird AI features can't spoil all that razor cool too. These earphones look better than ever and performs like a champ. I still wish it had better cameras and the AI stuff just needs to go but otherwise the Razer Plus 24 is a superb modern flip phone.